I totally forgot to show this. Paramount War. Is it Paramount War? Yeah, Paramount War. Yo, ho, ho, sha. what is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and it is here, set two of the One Piece card game in English. Paramount War. Is it Paramount War? Yeah, Paramount War is what it's called. It is here, it's in my hands, and I'm so excited to shrip them. This is a pre-release box. So pre-release events are this weekend. I was able to get my hands on a box to shrip them to release here when the pre-release night is happening. I have some other really exciting, cool stuff to share and show off at the end of the video, but I'm gonna get right into this shrip them because I am so excited to see these cards in English. Finally, set two is here and it's in English. Sorry, do I have I was eating a turkey burger. I hope it's not in my mustache. If this is your first time here and you guys want to see One Piece card game shrippums and booster box openings and hear stories about all sorts of wild adventures from my life, don't forget to hit that subscription button. It would really be cool if you did. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking out the shrippum because I want to check it out. I probably want to see it just as much as you guys want to see it. All right. My shrippum blade. I haven't brought my shrippum blade in my new studio, so I'm just going to use these scissors because I'm too excited to shrippum this thing and I can't take the time to go get the blade. So that's just what it is. That's just how it is. And get this plastic off of here. What is in this box? I have some really, really cool stuff I've been working on. Some new cards I've been making. I'm very excited about it. No oh, there is a box topper. There's no box topper for set. Wait, double? Wait, what is this? Revision? Oh, I heard about this. Revision pack. I think there's like starter cards in here. There's some, um, there's some like eroded cards or something like that. Box topper, Tashigi, yatta. Yeah, that's a good looking card. That is a good looking, nice piece of shiny cardboard. Oh, let me get this light powered on so we can really get a nice shiny light on these things. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, nice shiny. Nice and shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that shiny. Let me see how shiny that is. Come on, you stupid light. What is this? What is this? What is this even for if you can't even show how shiny a card is? What's the point of having a light like this? If you can't, hey, I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show the Joe crew how dang shiny this card is. So if you could just use it. Oh yeah. I don't know if that even helped. Does it help? Does it make a difference? No, it's better without the light. Get out of here, light. Wow, look at that. Ooh, ooh, nice. Oh, nice. All right, what's in this revision pack? Are there any shiny cards? Because you know me, I love me some shiny cardboard. How about it? What is in here? How about a jet pistol? Oh, a crocodile. I don't even know what the like what the text changes are, but it's a kingu. Gado pointo. Wipe your deck. You know I'm playing Whitebeard. You know next set I'm playing Whitebeard. Scratch man. So there's some OP1 stuff. But these are all starter cards. Kira. And I don't know. Maybe that's it. I don't know if there's more. I don't know. Seven cards per pack. How many how many cards are in the thing total? Does it say on this pack? How many cards we get in here? Nope. 33 types. Seven cards from 33 types. All right. So those packs are like kind of value. Get some cool cards in there, but nothing shiny. So I don't care that much. I don't care about misprinted text. I'm just here to play the game and shrip them. All right, gotta bless them with pack. Oh, pack them, be bless them. Es, dokuda, dokuda es. Yes, I get to say this again. What an exciting world we're living in. That's the bless them pack. I'm gonna open that at the end. And we're gonna hunt for Ace. Where are you, Ace? Come on, bro. Aniki, come out, come out, wherever you are. Shrip them the pack. Let's get in there. That's the shrimp technique. I don't know if you guys have ever been to my channel before. I'm gonna look at all these cards because they're all in English now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this for the. Oh yeah, yeah. These are these vanillas. These white beard vanillas. That's just you need. Go check out Azaraf Chaz's channel and learn about that. Yeah, from the first pack. Here's our boy Vista. This card is snapped. This card's crazy. These cards are gone crazy, man. It just KOs 3,000 power or less. It's like Robin. Oh, Shanksu! I've come to put an end to this war. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Shanks. I really appreciate you doing that in this situation. Very considerate guy. All right, next, strip him. That's our bless him right there. Don't forget about it. My strip him technique, you know, has evolved from years and years of stripping cards. Oh yeah, love to see the white. Beard. I should just be putting the white beard stuff aside. I got it. I need all those white beard cards. Where's the? What's this one? Ice Age, Kinyamon. Oh yeah, Inuzuma and Hanyaboru. Hanyaboru. Very nice. Very nice. 
cool. I'm with it. I'm down. I'm into it. I'm into this shrimp. I'm down to see these cards in English. I saw a lot of them in Japanese. I was the first person in the world to open a One Piece set two in Japan. I, I went all the way to Japan to do it. Wait, is this a, no, it's just a regular leader card there. White to be the Shirohige. Shirohige Kaizoku da Buggy da. And Shiki. Buggy's great, Buggy's a great card. Whitebeard's a good card. You know, I was saying I thought Whitebeard was really good and then I tried it and I was like, wow, Whitebeard's not good, but I just wasn't building it right. But my theory was accurate. 6K power and an extra card in hand every turn is good. I knew it was good. I just didn't know how it was good. There's a Moby Dick. Gotta have that Moby Dick. Gotta get it. Gotta have it. Gotta see it. And in set three, you can search it. Squaddle. This card's actually kind of nasty now that we know how the deck works. Kobe and Jozu. Diamond to Jozu. 2K counter. Whitebeard Pirate. Good card. Love to see it. Love to have it. Love to shrip it. Love to pull it. I keep feeling like something in my mustache. Maybe it's just my mustache. It could be a booger. I can't really tell because I see myself on a tiny little screen, but hopefully you guys are watching me on a huge screen and you can see all the boogers in my nose. You can see everything that all the mistakes that I've made here with my nose. Oh, he not. I love this art, yo. This art looks so good. It's so good. Wow. Who is this? Hashimoto Q. That's the person that did the alt art for Boa alt art set one. And Sequeku. Removal. Removal's good. You just remove little blockers. One cost, remove a little blocker. Pff, amazing. Any day of the week. For a Sequake, gladly. I'll take it. Oh, there's something shiny back here. I think it's an SR. I think that's an SR. There's little ores. I don't think that's the card they play in the deck, but I might play one in the deck because little ores is huge. Little ores is a huge card. Rakuyo. Suru. Suru is a 2K. And what's this SR back here? SR, SR, SR. Oh, Ivankov. Ivankov Chuan. Emporio Ivankov. The alt art of this is also amazing. Oh, I can't wait to see. We're going to get so many alt arts because this is an English box. There's going to be so many more alt arts than in a Japanese box. And we haven't even gotten any yet. It's just so exciting. Let's just get to shrimp them on this shrimp them adventure. Shrimp them pirate party. Welcome to it. I like this art a lot. That law art is pretty dope. King Du, this guy's in the deck, definitely. He's a 9K for five with Moby Dick. Wild, wild stuff. And Z, sounds like a kind of cool leader. Gamu Gamu Rain, oh, Sadi Chan, Little Sadi? Is that, <laughs> wait, what? Is that, does it say Sadi Chan on the Japanese cards? Is that why it says Little Sadi? Wow, interesting. Or is that actually, they just call her Little Sadi in the translation? I don't know, because I don't watch it in English. I watch it in Nihon. Nihon Bashi. That's a place in, in Tokyo that I like to travel through. You may be a fool, but I still love you, my boy. I feel like I say that to my friends every day. This guy's in the deck, Atmos, because he's an 8K. That's crazy. That is wild, wild and crazy stuff. Whitey Bay, I don't know why, in the deck profiles I've seen, they don't play this card, but I feel like this card's like kind of cracked in theory. I want to test it. Oh, Marco, need four Marcos, mandatory, blocker, bring him back. Bring him back, Marco. I'm going to try Whitey Bay out. I think Whitey Bay is cool. I think being able to swing into active character cards is good. But I guess in this, you just remove them. I guess that's why you don't play her, because you just like have better removal options and you just kill stuff like invest to, and then that's not a thing that they can attack into. Here's an SR back here. Burit, Douglas Burit. Oh, Monkey D. Rufi, Broca. Is this an, no, it's an SR. Oh, Odin, Kozuki Odin. I really like this art. I'm a big, I'm a big flan of this art. This stuff, this one looks really good. I, I, I almost kind of prefer this to the alt art. I mean, the alt art's cool because it has like the texture and, Really rad stuff. This is, oh, it looks like Odin's exploding out of this card, and the card is like kind of nuts. It's a kind of nutso card. I kind of like it. All right, what else we got here? We're getting an alt art soon. We're like, I feel like we're like halfway through this box. I haven't even seen an alt art yet. This is all the stuff in Zoro. Zoro's got some really good support. Zoro is strong in this set. Boa! I like that box hopper. I'd love to see that one. Paradise Tok. Totsuka, Totsuka, Paradise Waterfall in set one. On this set, we get Paradise Totsuka. Shirohige, Shirohige Kaizoku da. Wow, this card's really good for red. It's a really strong beater. Buffs your leader, gives you power, KOs things when it attacks. It's like, kind of good card, kind of really good card. Still no alt arts. 
What's in here? We're gonna see a secret. Oh, yeah, it looks like a secret rare. I think that's an Utah. I think that's Utah. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right by seeing that much of the card. How nasty am I at this game on a scale of one to Utah? Yeah, there she is. Hey, girl. Looking real good. I like this one a lot also. The alt art is actually drawn by, I think it's drawn by the artist that wrote Promised Neverland, maybe, or something. Not entirely sure about that, but I think that's what it is. But this art looks really good. I like the full art. I like the texture on here. It's a cute card. Keep that one in the middle. So I see that we pulled a secret rare. Our first secret rare of One Piece card game set. This, set two, yeah. I don't know if that means that we can't get an ace in this card. I would have loved it. Ace, Dogoda. Dogoda, ace, ace, Tasukata. Yo, yo, buggy. I think this card is gorgeous. I think this might act, this and ace, I think are the best looking alt arts in this set. The way that the light just like blasts off. Okay, I need to figure this out. This is a technique I need to figure out because I'm working with figuring out some new texture patterns to like play with light. And I feel like I've had some breakthroughs, but this is one. Yeah, I'm gonna figure this out. This is cool. Wow, wow, I love that. I love it. It's so shiny and beautiful. Buggy, thank you, gozaimasu. Is there a rare here? I gotta stack this one. Oh, yeah, Marco. Nice rare to pull. Okay, that's one alt art, and I don't even remember what the ratios are, but I feel like in some boxes you get like three. Yeah, some boxes I think you get three alt arts, or is it two, or I'm just gonna go to the back of these packs. Diamond Jozu and Kobe. Arigato so much. Nakama. Thank you. Thank you, the Dragon Balls. Yeah, I think since we pulled a secret, that means there's no secret alt manga ace in here. I still haven't seen Makino either. But, oh, Garp and Mista Sri. Gardino. This art's actually pretty cool. Gotta show some props to that. And Garp looks pretty tough as well. About to lay the beat down on grandson. Not you get a punch in the face, old man. Go man, go man. What else? What else is in these packs? Oh, Magellan. I'm scared of this card. This is the first alt art that I pulled from this set actually in Japanese, and I was like, oh god, I'm scared. I don't think that many people play it, but just like when I read it, I'm like, God, I don't like that. I don't want to have to lose two dawn and then lose another dawn when this guy dies. It's scary. It's scary man. But I, he definitely like really beat the butt out of Luffy and they had to like, they barely got away from that guy. Magellan's for sure making a comeback. Smoker, I am not really a big fan of this art. His head looks like, like I don't, I don't believe that Smoker. They haven't convinced me. I'm not convinced about that one. You have to do a little bit better job, Bondi. Maybe next set. Actually, I don't think Smoker has a card in next set, but maybe next year. Ooh, something shiny back here. That's an SR. This is, this is an SR border. Luffy! Six cost Luffy. Oh, this alt art looks insanely cool too. Okay, we got a lot of contenders. We got, can, this. there's a lot of good contenders in this set. Um, yeah, yeah, I like that art. I'm down with it. I'm into it. I'm a fan. Wow, we're just blasting through these. I think there's some boxes you just get one alt art and one secret, if I remember that correctly. So that might be, ooh, this Yamato card is really good. This is like green staple. It rests a six cost, right? Yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. And then if she's in play, I think you can use the blocker because she's a Kozuki Odin. And Bonkure, Ivankov deck. Ivankov seems really fun. Definitely gonna mess around with that deck. But Whitebeard is my boy that I will be getting right into. Oh, here's some rares. Shiryu and Meteor Volcano. Black reduces the cost of stuff and then kills it. But it seems like Smoker's a good deck. It seems like Smoker's a good leader. I think people have been liking Smoker, playing Smoker. I wanna play Smoker. I have some Smoker alt arts that I made. Vista, we got two, heck yeah. Heck yeah, and a Nami Swan. That alt art looks really good also. Lots of good alt arts. I wanna pull more alt arts, I can't wait. Next week, I'm gonna be opening way more. I'm gonna do a case live opening. I'm gonna be doing a lot more Shrippum, so definitely tune in next week. Come hang out and watch cardboard get cracked out of these packs. Three packs left. Oh, only guy Shimas. Ace, Dokuda, Tasukata, yo. Tasukata, yo. Buruk and Buggy. 
two Bs in my pack. B to B. All right, second to last pack before the Blossom. Did I bless him in Ace? <laughs> ace, doko da? Taskate yo? Choto mate yao. Borsalino. Okay, all right. And the rare is Shiki. It's a couple of Shikis we've seen now. And the last pack, this is the Blessing. There could be an alt art in here, or it was just a one alt, one SR box that happens, which means it could have been an ace one, I think, if the ratios are still the same. But what is it in here? I can't look, I can't, like, this is so crazy. This is such a crazy thing that we're opening set two in English. It's here, it's real. Wanda, can you believe it? Ace, Dokoda, Dokoda, Ace, Ace, Taskata, yo, what do you bay? Sengoku and Sadi-chan, yatta, yeah, Ritur Sadi, I like that, I'm happy with that, these are great pulls, these are great, great fire alt arts, yo, what a box, first box in, and I'm having a good time, I'm ready to party, next week, make sure, come through, hit that subscription button, hit that little ding dong bell, so you don't miss any of my live streams, and shrip them, because I'm going to be shripping the night away, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I figured out like kind of how to do this a little bit. So I make cards. I'm gonna show you guys some of my cards. Actually, it was originally a, a technique I called Mirage Foiling and I and I did something with it, but my friend David, I don't know if you guys know David's in TCG, but he's a buddy of mine. We actually print together. We research and develop a lot of things together. He printed this Nami and he did this thing with these like spirals in the background. And I think it's really, 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 really cool. So I tried my hand at it and uh, attempted something on this kid where you can see like the texture kind of like in the side. I reprinted, this is one I've done before, but I wanted to kind of spice it up and I felt like this kind of gave it a new life. And um, I wanted to continue experimenting with it. So I did a couple others. I did this boa from this new artist that I'm working with. Um, you can't quite see it as much, but it's in there. It gets in there, that, that like texture pattern. This one's kind of hard to show in a video, but this art is amazing. I love this art. Um, I'll be posting all of these soon. And then I got like this Luffy leader. This is from the same artist, but doing that similar thing, like kind of creating some texture. I'll open this up so you can see it without the words on it. But that's kind of the idea is like creating some texture with this new technique we developed and I'm digging it. It's pretty dimensional. It's pretty rad. It's pretty cool. I also did this one. Uh, I, don't know, I feel like there's some stuff I wanna change about this design, but I'm kind of digging it. Running out of cards also, so I need to wait for the next shipment of cards to arrive so I can print more cardos. But that's um that's it. I don't have the other. There was a Yamato I did also, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be for this. This is set two, so I'll talk about tooth number two, which is actually your second molar, which is usually the tooth that's all the way in the back. So if you like open your mouth. Most people have like two premolars, two molars. Some people have third molars or wisdom teeth, but your first wisdom tooth on your upper right side is tooth number one. And the wisdom and the molar that's in front of that, which is usually the one that people have and feel as their, you know, first molar, but it's cause it's the one all the way in the back, but that's really tooth number two. So if you want to know what your tooth number two is in the U S number system. I think tooth number two in the UK system, like you count from the middle. So it'd be your lateral incisor, I think. Um, but it'll be like two, 12, 22 and 30, no 12. I don't remember how to count in the UK system. Sorry. But yeah, tooth number two in the United States is upper right second molar. But even though it's your second molar, it's like the first tooth that you feel in the back. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. So now you know about tooth number two and can it get excited for set two. Don't forget to tune in for all these exciting shrippums that are going to be coming. I also have set three openings posting like every week for the next month or so. And there's YouTube shorts every day of all the shiny cards that I make. So thank you. San Q gozaimasu. And I'll see y'all in the next shrimp with little Sadi. Yow! Ike men, go men, yow! I totally forgot to show this. I got this has got to be end clip. This is the new Dawn set. I'm dropping this tomorrow. This is the Chopa Dawn set, and there's a really, really exciting surprise at the back of the stack that I am was inspired by a homie that I met at uh, Treasure Cup. He put in a special request and it was a genius request, so I had to do it. But this is the Dawn set and, oh, whoops, that's out of order. But this is it. This is what, this card is everything. White beard, Choppa, the cutest, strongest man in the world. And I did that kind of prison thing. That was like, this was my first attempt at it, but I think it looks 
pretty good and i just love how his eyes are between the text and the name it's so cute and so strong things that are cute and strong really they you know they do it for me personally as a human living in the world there it is it's just it's so good white beard in the background and hopper's got the mustache and the scars and the everything it's just this card is everything anyway thanks for checking out the video see y'all next week Yatta.